We decided to surprise my sister for her birthday weekend. So we all have come out of town. We got this, y'all, this is the cutest house ever. I'm gonna try to do a tour, but now we're about to go see something really, really cool. So follow me. If there's one thing I know about God, I would say that it would have to be his love for family. The fact that he sent his only son to die so that he could have more of a family. Those are the thoughts that I think of when I spend time with my family. Y'all, there was three flights of steps <laughs> and I definitely got my cardio in. But as I continue to think about family, I also think about the body of Christ and how we're one big family and how we're all there for each other where we should be there for each other. It's Nashville after dark. It's not really after dark because it's just getting dark. I definitely believe that safety should be number one. But when was the last time you reached out to your brother or your sister in Christ and asked them how their heart was? Or to your own immediate family? Now I know you're thinking, Faith, are you serious? We're in a global pandemic. But in a time where we know we're united, we stand, divided, we fall we have more of a responsibility to make sure that we're not divided during this separation. Have you ever felt like the outcast of whatever new group you just joined? You feel like the outcast at your new church. You feel like the outcast in your new club that you joined you felt like the outcast maybe even in your family and I know that there have been times where I felt just like that and I struggled trying to ask God where do I fit the body of Christ should feel like home or it should feel like the safest place on earth if this is your first time meeting me I don't eat meat. I don't eat pork. I've been vegan for three years. Um, I've just started incorporating other things back into my diet, but meat is definitely not one of those. My family, on the other hand, they welcome the meat. I'm grateful that I never had to question where I fit with my family, but I know that a lot of you do question that. So my prayer is that God would give you a beautiful resolve and that he would restore your relationship. But I'm so grateful for my family and I wish that the body of Christ was more welcoming. How'd you sleep last night? Great. I know that bed feels so good. How'd you sleep? Girl, I feel great. <laughs> Amber, get back over there so I can get a video of the family. We're not perfect and we have our flaws, but we love hard and we have each other's backs.
When you expect perfection from the people you love, you can bet you're always going to be disappointed. Oh, baby, good love and affection make me. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's the wrong word. Someone's going to be off beat. Someone's not going to say the right thing. Someone is going to annoy you. But your love should be stronger. I often wonder if the body of Christ could come together and look through lenses of love instead of disguising hate with love. Where would we be? For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ.